Hey everyone, so we're gonna do some conditioning with the Dremel with Klaus. Klaus is human aggressive, and while he does know me, he will still go after me if I touch certain areas like pressure on the top of his head or his feet, something that he doesn't like, he has some crate issues. And um, some other issues too that his owners have been working diligently on, and he's much improved. But still with the feet, he does this thing where he opens his mouth and acts like he's about to bite. And he would if he wasn't on muzzle. But I'm just going to see how he does. It's been a while since I've seen him. He did a board and train with us a while back. And now he's come up and come back. And I'm just going to see how he is. Here we go, bud. 99% of the time, we won't use e-collar for this. It would just be, if he freaks out or goes after me, it would just be slip leash pressure straight up in the air. We'll see if you guys get to see that. Like I said, dogs tend to be uh, less likely to react because they're more nervous to me, whereas with their family, they feel empowered to claim certain things. But he has reacted to us in the past. We'll see what we get. It's been a while. Good. Just really take your time. There's just no rush. Good job. It's all about creating that predictable pattern. Yeah, good job. He's okay with like scratches, not pressure. But I'm not gonna work on the pressure on the head. We did that during the board and train. I'm here to work on feet. And so what I wanna do is do the spots that are easy and just turn this on. And it's on low. I'm gonna put this around my neck, something I like to do sometimes. Good. I'm already holding on to it. I wanted to see if he got more nippy with the food. Good. Good, yeah. See how my hand is right here on the leash? Any attitude I get, be pressure right away. Good job, oh, good. So he's already shaking a little, so that's what fuels that aggression that he has. So it really is, and I like having them up on something. This is just convenient for me. Some sort of boundary. So that's why groomers do so well a lot of times. Good. I can't just kind of relax through this whole thing. Part of my handling with him, yes, I'm considerate. I absolutely am. But I'm also gonna be just very matter of fact here in a second, just like a groomer would be, and we'll see how he responds. So a little bit of tension on the leash. There we go. Good job. So that was very matter of fact. All right, pressure up first, scoop under the belly. Here you go, here's your position. Good job. And that wasn't to make him stay here necessarily, good. It was just to see how he did with it. Now he gets a little massage and he's still taking food. Good, good job. But I want you to understand every step of this where I challenge him, pressure goes on the leash first. It's a critical part of this. Critical, isn't it? I know, you're very wary. So, pressure, pick up foot, Pause, put foot down, good. That was excellent, yes, you did good, buddy. Ow, now the finger. They're gonna get a bit more nippy as you go along because they'll ner start to nervously take the food, so be careful. Yeah, good job. You actually don't have to use food. Just take about double the time and make sure they kind of relax between each handling. You don't have to use food, but I think if the dog will take food, it cuts down um, the time it takes to condition them in half, maybe even more. It doesn't magically change their perception. He's not magically liking it. What happens is it creates a predictable pattern and it is associated with something positive. Sometimes it can create a bridge and improve how they look at things. Sometimes it doesn't, it depends on the dog, but it's good to try. In my experience with him, food does help uh, build his tolerance. Doesn't make him like it, but it does help build his tolerance. 
Here we go, bud. Pressure? It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Good. Pulling back his fur. Holding. Now I'm going to relax my leash because his body feels good. And drop it. So my leash, it always goes a little snug to start with. Good. I can actually feel his body relax, so I'm going to relax my leash. But when I go to the next step, if it's not to just let go of the foot, if I'm going to peel back the fur and do the toes, I'm going to do pressure again, touch the toes, and then relax again. Good job. Good boy. Yep. He, see, he looks at my pouch. That's okay. I, I want that. He's like, oh my God, I did it. Give me my food, woman. <laughs> good job. Good job. You did good. Now I'm going to try it on this side, which is a little bit more difficult. So, because it's kind of awkward for me, but that's okay. I could move him or I could move, but I'll just do it. Little pressure up. Relax my leash. A little pressure. Go to the paw. Good. Relax my leash. Look at you, buddy. Doing great today. Now, maybe as an owner, maybe as an owner, you can't be as soft as I'm being. It's very possible. Um, I think in the beginning, when we were conditioning him to take food, with just being touched and, and combed very lightly, I think I was more, I, I know I was a bit more neutral. Good food, good food. Because my affection, my softness, calm, confident softness, not yay, I don't want that. His eyes got big, I don't want that. Good boy, that's, that's okay. But my, my calm, um, confident neutrality in the beginning being more neutral this is a transaction the reason I was like that is because my affection didn't have any value now I have a relationship with him so I can go good boy good job yeah and I have a relationship with him oh food okay sorry excuse me I could never do that in the beginning so when you're first starting this out as a trainer with a new dog that wants to eat your face, or um, even an owner who probably has shared too much softness with their dog. You need to be more neutral. So I'll show you what that looks like. Good. Good. He dropped the food, a little stressed. Good. Good. Break of the leash. Good. Good job. Good. Good job. Good boy. Good. Good, good boy. That's how I was in the beginning. But now that he seems to care about me more and we have a relationship, I can reassure him a bit with calm, confident, soothing energy. Next step really should be done with two people. Hey, gravy, no. The next step really should be done with two people. But I'm gonna see how he does with this off. And let's just take it, let's say you only have one person and let's really break this down. So I've turned it off, pressure. What do you think? I just wanna make sure he doesn't attack it right away, right? Good, good job. Good job. He's looking at it. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna just kinda uh, try to have a little pressure there. 
See, my, my neck is kind of putting a little pressure on it because he knows I've got him. He's less likely to react. Good. I'm really watching his mouth. Good. Good. Good job. That was good. The next step would be to turn it on and do that. So a little pressure, you see that? Pressure on the leash, pick up foot. Good. Good, nice, I did a, a swipe or two. Good job. A little pressure, pick up foot. Relax pressure. Tap, tap, tap. Swipe. Always do quick swipes. Don't do the grind. Stay away from that if your dog is nervous. He's doing fine, so I'm gonna go in deeper. No, you're fine. Notice my tone has changed. Hey, you're fine. Nope, you're fine. I've got my leg back here. Go back to tapping, because he's pulling. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Good. 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 My back leg is super helpful. I can do a little pressure too. Hey, knock it off. But don't go right in again. Be considerate. Just a few little taps. Little light swipes. Good. Because all that jerking around, he's telling you he needs a breather for a second. Don't let him get away with it, but then come in more easily. I also don't go in with this if the dog, no, if the dog is really staring at it. Like if his head was right there staring at it, I wouldn't go in with it. Side note, wait till they just sit here and wait till they look away. You're all right. When I'm first conditioning a dog to having their feet done, I'm kind of a believer in they can be however they're comfortable. So I honestly try a lot of different positions where they're sitting, um, let them stand. I use my arm against their body and then hold their foot. So I'll switch sides here in a minute for the other side or switch him around. And that way I, I feel more in control and the dog feels pressure against them. They're less likely to react to me. But if he wants to stand, if he wants to sit, I didn't let him lay down because he seemed much more likely to try to bite me. <laughs> he was really eyeballing me way more when he was in a down. And so I did put him up in a sit. So I'm, I'm making these judgment calls, you know. It's not a perfect science. It's really about playing around with how the dog is comfortable. Right here, he struggles. He stretches, tries to get off, resists the pressure. So I just kind of direct him, give him a break, and go back in with just tapping. I tried to get to the dew claws. It was so difficult that I did bring in my husband for the dew claws, which I'll, I'll show later. This type of Dremel is inexpensive and great for the price, Good but boy. it does suck fur in, which would have been a horrible experience for him. So I had to be super careful of that. Um, but I want to show you a few different holds. This has become one of my favorite ways to do nails with nervous dogs, but it really is better with two people. One person is holding the leash, and I'm actually bending his foot backwards, um, trying not to do it too much, but that's why he's hopping a little bit. I've made it, his foot a little bit too high, but I do it like a horse, like you'd shoe a horse. You fold their feet back, and you, and you shoe them and clean out their hooves. That's basically what I'm doing, and I've really gotten to like this position with new dogs. But the problem is if you don't have someone holding him, if I didn't have the relationship with him that I did, he'd just jump right off and, and take off because um, he'd be like, hey, there's, I don't feel any pressure. Whereas before I had my leg behind him and my arm against him. 
And so he felt very secure, like he couldn't go anywhere. Please keep that in mind. But I did want to add this in. All you need is another person holding the leash and blocking the other side of the dog. And you can have them stand, put, uh, flip their foot backwards comfortably. <laughs> and and you're also not as protected, as you can tell. That's another part too. Muzzle's critical. You're not as protected. So I did want to show this, but it is definitely a two-personer for, for new dogs. So he's really started to, he gets a little massage break. Uh, I could start to see he was getting tense and he does go for me. You're about to see what I do when that happens. Now he goes for me right here. It was really just a warning. Like you see that? I mean, he didn't even commit. It was a warning. You do pressure straight up in the air when that happens. And then you make sure that his feet stay on the ground and you just wait him out. He gets really, really stiff. Um, he doesn't fully relax. And so basically, I just wait till I feel him not pushing forward with his feet, and then I relax, and then we go again, and I go nice and slow. Take my time, I'm firm about it, but I take my time, and we're gonna continue to do it. Just because you tried to nip me or warn me does not mean we stop. And he wouldn't take food anymore after this, I tried. I mean, just so you know, I tried to work him back down. A big thing I wanna tell you, though, is I stopped for a second and, and I breathed, because that makes your heart rate go up a tiny bit. So I stopped for a second, I breathed, and then I did some other handling work just to see how, what kind of mood he was in. And he dealt with it, but I could tell he was in a mood and he'd, he'd react again, I could tell. And he did one more time. And just for the record, I gotta put a tiny disclaimer in here. Uh, we worked during the board and train for about two weeks on just low key, touch food, touch food, touch food, feet, touch food, feet, I mean all over and then he got more relaxed and we layered on more and more challenges with like the comb and things like that and with the Dremel and so here when he was back we just did two days of three to five minutes of the noise and tapping the feet and food before we went in and we were like okay we got to get these toes groomed they're crazy long so let's just see if we can do it please keep that in mind at home um, a lot of work went into getting to this point where someone might be like, oh, he's just too stressed, he needs more conditioning. It's like, well, he, he'll need continued conditioning. But at the end of the day, at some point, we gotta do these nails. So please just keep that in mind. That's my perspective on it. And, uh, and let's move on to what I wanted to show you here. He did react to me again at one point here. I think it had more to do with Chris, honestly. But I had to have his help because these dew claws are just really tough to get. Again, like I said earlier, this type of Dremel sucks in fur and it'll rip it out. And so I really had to get all the fur away and I needed to just focus on the foot and, and get these dew claws down, which were pretty long. So I had to have help. We just did the same thing. Chris did the pressure for me and uh, more pressure than what you see here. This is just nagging pressure. It's not pressure, it's um, tension. There is a difference. So Chris would put tension on the leash then I would pick up his foot and I would peel back or, you know, fold back as much fur as I could and, and get it on the Dremel. So there it is right there. Tension. I pick up foot and then I go in. He is leaving tension on because he was grumbling. He was really struggling at this point. So we did not get to a point where he could really loosen it while I was doing this. But again, he's fine, guys. We're not choking him. We're not lifting him. It's not pressure like he got when he went after me, okay? Now, you got to see him glancing towards it. I'm trying to stop when he glances towards it. And then I pause. He glances away. I go back in with the, with the, the actual pressure Dremel on the nail. Okay, so over and over again. Then he relaxes the leash. Then I tell him to do tension again. So I'm coaching him because they don't totally know. <laughs> so tension on, tension off, tension on, tension off. So I'm coaching him. So anyway, just keep that in mind, guys. And I hope that uh, you guys learned some stuff from this video. This is honestly more of a finished step for a guy like him. Please check out other videos on YouTube that I have for grooming to show more of the process of how we got to this point, okay? Um, takes a lot of time, dedication. I love it. I, I feel like it 
bonds me with the dog more and I get to know my dog more. But you don't have to. Just send them to a groomer, you know. it's That's totally fine, too, if they can handle a groomer. If not, you're stuck doing it this way. <laughs> there are many more ways, of course, but uh, I wanted to give you guys a really good idea of, honestly, this is a finished product. Yes, he'll get better over time, but it will always take a lot of effort <laughs> to do this. So I don't want to give anybody any false expectations. Um, if I was to get him to an even better space and then not do it for six months, we'd be back at square one. He would get to a good place faster than before. But you got to understand stuff like this, things that dogs really don't like, you've got to do continually and keep up. And life happens. And that's fine. Life happens and, and, you know, the dog might get bad again. You just have to remember the expectation. So you don't go back in with the expectation that the dog's going to be just as good as they were after a three-month break of not even touching their feet, right? You've got to go back in from square one, okay? So please just keep that in mind. That goes for any reactivity, any aggression, any nervousness. Sorry. <laughs> but that's just, that's just the way it is.